will now discuss the visual aspect of design. You won't buy something if you don't like its looks, no matter how useful it is. But good design integrates form with function, right? Very much so. A product's visual appeal plays a big part in attracting customers and also in creating an emotional connect with the product. Of course, design has to go beyond the surface looks. For example, a Pune based design firm, Ticket Design, which is led by Nishma Pandit and Balkrishna Mahajan, designed the packaging for Hokey Pokey ice cream. It is a brand that is targeted at young customers. But I love it too. Really? It comes in a bold triangular package with striking colors and graphics, which makes the product stand out from its competitors. But that's not all. The form is easy to hold and it is stackable and instantly recognizable by the user. Each of its different flavors has a different colored packaging. There is also a spoon integrated into the lid, which is protected and kept clean by a label which goes on top. And the container itself is sturdy, so it can be reused in people's homes. So here is a well-made product that communicates quality, care and thoughtfulness. It's a good design and its appeal is not merely skin deep. All right, Rashmi, it's chair time. Chai time? <laughs> chair time, Rashmi, chair. You know how in every module of this course, we have been using the chair as an example. So I hope you have a chair for us today. Two chairs, actually. First, an all-time classic, the Thonet No. 14. It was designed by German-Austrian cabinet maker, Michael Thonet. And it is believed that this chair holds the distinction of having seated the maximum number of people in the world. The Thonet No. 14 consists of two pieces of bent wood, two circles, two sticks, and can be held together with ten screws and two nuts. That's all that goes into it. Earlier, Thonet used to carve wood into desired shapes. Then he began experimenting with the technique of bending wood with heat and pressure. He exposed the wood to steam to soften it and then bent it into curves in cast iron molds. Once dried and cooled, the wood would hold its shape. And these bent wood components were used to make the chair. As a result of the special manufacturing process, you get a strong but lightweight, versatile chair, widely used in cafes, but it's also used in homes, libraries, shops, kitchens. I know, it's there in all the Irani restaurants. It first made its appearance back in 1859. It is considered the first truly mass-produced chair. This innovative design pushed the boundaries of what was possible in mass-produced furniture and set standards which are still valid today, more than a century and a half later. This is a picture of the components for 36 Thonet chairs packed into one cubic meter box to be shipped and then assembled on site. Let's go over some of its special features again. It has very few parts and they are standardized. This reduces the inventory. The components can be shipped efficiently. It can be easily assembled on site. And it's, you know, the forerunner of the flat pack furniture that is so popular today. Do visit the next tab for more on this.